we will start with uh, Java web application development. So I'll be coding the first uh, Hello World application for you. So let's start the NetBeans first and create a new project. If you don't see Java web listed under categories, what you'll have to do go to tools and plugins and go to available plugins and type java web here then it will list here so click it and install it and then you need to restart the netbeans again right so then you will see java web here so it's a web application go select next so So NetBeans will activate uh, Java web uh, component here. So let me rename it to Hello World Web App. Right. Next. So either you can select one of these, either Tomcat or Glassfish. So I'll use tomcat make sure that you select either java e5 or 6 right so if you don't see anything listed here what you have to do just add a server right so how you add a server let's say tomcat and you need to provide the uh, location that you have installed this class uh, tomcat right the home folder so let's do next okay here you will see spring java surface starts hibernate so there are a lot of uh, frameworks that you can install right uh, gwt for an example so we are not using web frameworks today so later on i'll tell you how to create using how to uh, use hibernate gwt and no, I mean, things like that so since it's a hello world application what we're going to do you don't need to select any of these just click finish right okay so netbeans will <coughs> create an index page for you but what you have to do change the title page uh, so I will do it I'll rename it to hello web application right so header make it my first web application right so right now you need to put need to have a button here right so you can manually type it so I tell you how to work with palette right so good windows palettes right under JSP uh, sorry under HTML right so you will see this thing such so as drag and drop here it's easy then typing right so label let's say click me right and button name submit BT yet okay in case if you want to change the name just change this text to some other name right so um, right next what we need to do now once you click this button what will happen it will send uh, I mean we need I mean it will send a request to the server side right so the controller okay so since we haven't created any controller yet what we'll have to do just create a package called SRC you don't need to be it should not you need to be HRC right so you can create any name for that you can put any name so this is the control controller class right so the servlet class so what I'm going to do I'll make it as in servlet right okay um, right so these are automated codes okay so what I'm going to do um, what you 
you need to do is delete this right, I'll tell you but leave do get and do post right okay 